there, how's it going? Well, I've been trying to figure out what exactly people hated about my last video so much. I mean, lots of people unsubscribing, lots of thumbs downs, and not really much explanation. People telling me they're disappointed in me, people telling me that they're unsubscribing, but not really much in explanation. It's hard for me to figure out where I'm wrong if I'm not told about it. Now, if it's just because I hold opinions you don't like, yeah, not much I can do about that. But uh, Now, there was one person, uh, and if, if they say it, and, and there's so many thumbs downs, and they're willing to say what they didn't like, then perhaps a number of other people felt the same way. But uh, one person was saying, oh, well, so you're for censorship now in reference to Trump and Twitter. And I'm like, well, well, no, I'm just saying that that uh, Twitter, if they're to have the rules that they do and they're to enforce the rules on the lower people, the people on the bottom, they should enforce the rules for the people on the top as well. It shouldn't matter what position someone's in, they should enforce their rules evenly and consistently, you know? You know, I think Trump... If, if Twitter is to have the rules they do and they're to ban people for stupid reasons, and I've known a number of people who have been banned for stupid reasons on Twitter, yeah, that, that, that Trump should have been banned a couple years ago on Twitter. You know? I mean, I mean, look at some of the stupid things you can get banned on Twitter for. You know, someone gets misgendered. Or you you make the you state the wrong opinion about gender identity. Just stating the wrong opinion can get you banned from the platform, right? You know, something that isn't even an incitement of violence is just stating an opinion about something. Up, oh, up, oh, that's incitement of violence, and yet Trump could get away with some of the shit that he has in the past four years on the platform. I don't know, it just seems weird. They they should have been enforcing their rules equally and consistently. You know, now maybe people are upset. Maybe maybe I could take it a little bit further. Maybe people are upset because I'm suggesting that things might have been better if Trump would have been censored on Twitter a long time ago. And uh, well, I mean, look at the way that news has been for the past 4 years. You know, any little thing that Trump tweets, they're on top of it. Well, do you think they would have been on top of it if Trump would have been on another platform, some third-party platform, some right-wing platform? Do you think news would have been on top of it every time there? I mean, maybe. But it certainly would have changed the the way things get talked about. Now, maybe they would... And as I said in that video, you know, maybe... They would have said that he's siding with the far right because he would be on one of those platforms, right? Maybe people would associate him with extremists far sooner than they did already, right? Maybe that would have occurred. And let me state again, you know, media is corrupt. They're willing to do anything to make money. They're willing to pit people against each other. They're willing to say things that could negatively affect the country. As long as they get the money, though, it's, it's all good, right? So, yeah, the media made Trump the boogeyman for four years. Yes, this, this happened. I don't support it. Doesn't change how things would have been if Trump would have been banned from Twitter. You know, we, we don't know what would have happened. You know? Maybe it would have been better. Maybe it wouldn't have. We don't know. Guess I don't know what more to say. Thanks for watching.